Guys, do you want to know how to run Python program in PyCharm ID? So this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to install PyCharm ID and how to run Python program using it. So let's start the video, guys. So guys, for uh, running Python program in PyCharm, you have to follow few steps. So first of all, you have to install Python and after that, you will be downloading and installing PyCharm ID. After that, you will be integrating Python in PyCharm and then you will be creating a new project and you will be running your python program in pycharm so guys let's see all the steps in detail do watch the video till end if you want to run successfully python program in pycharm id so guys here i'm showing you installation of python so guys you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for python download and here guys you can see the official website python.org you need to just click on this download python link guys it will redirect you to download page of python and here you can see latest python download is available uh, i'm going to install for windows so i will be clicking on this link if you want to install for some other operating system you can just select this option so let me click on this button and guys you can see my download has been started it will not take more time guys and you can see my download is done so guys to start the installation i need to click on this exe so let me do that and let me minimize my browser guys so guys it's showing me this screen here we have option install now and customize installation i will be selecting customize installation but before that we have to check mark this two option the first option is what run python as admin with the admin privilege and second add the python path to environmental variable so just check mark this this and click on this customize installation and here it's showing a different optional feature so keep everything default here we have pip which is used for installing python packages and click on next button now guys under advanced option you have to check mark this first option that is install python for all user and here guys it's showing me the installation location for python if you have any reason you can click on browse button and change the location and then guys click on install button this my installation has been started it will take a while so we will wait for it okay guys so you can see my setup is done it's showing me python installation was successful now i'm going to simply click on this close button so guys now my python installation is done now i'm going to download pycharm so on my browser i'm searching pycharm download and here you can see the official website jetbrains.com just click on this download link and here guys you can see it has taken you to this page download page and here it's showing pycharm professional this is the paid one so we will not be installing this just scroll down and go to community edition so here guys you can see we have pycharm community edition this is the free one so just click on download button it will download exe file for my windows machine so here guys it's showing me thank you for downloading pycharm and you can see the download has been started and guys the download is done now to install it i'm going to click on this exe and let me minimize my browser guys okay guys now here i'm going to click on next button and this is the installation location for pycharm by default it will be installed in this directory if you wish to change you can click on browse button and change i'm clicking on next button here guys we have certain installation options so check mark on the first checkbox it will add shortcut on desktop second checkbox is going to add your pycharm id in context menu and third checkbox add to bin folder it will add the bin folder into the environmental variable path and click on next and click on next button guys and here click on install button so it will take a while so we will wait for it so guys my installation is done now it is asking me reboot now or i want to reboot manually so i am selecting the second option you can select the first option also and i am clicking on finish button guys now let's start the pycharm id so in search simply type pycharm and select this pycharm id and just start it guys and here guys it is asking user agreement so just check mark on this i confirm button and click on continue and here it is asking some uh, settings import so if you have vs code it asks you can select that 
and now guys this is a welcome screen of PyCharm community edition so we will be creating a new project over here so just click on new project option if you want to open you can click on open button now provide your python project name so i am going to demonstrate a simple project so hence i am giving project name as hello demo and this is a location guys where your project will be saved so this is a default location and now here we have to select python interpreter so python version it has already detected whatever i am having and if the location you want to change you can click on that folder button and you can change it guys i'm clicking on this create button so my project has been created here you can see hello demo has been created and some folders or some directories are inside this hello demo so now we will be creating a python file so just right click on this hello demo select new python and here you need to provide the file name so i'm giving file name as hello by default it adds extension dot py so you can see hello dot py has been created now whatever code you want to write you can write and run okay so guys uh, my code is done now i'm going to run this so just click on this play button and see guys i'm getting my output thanks for watching so whatever code you will write you will be getting your output over here so this way guys you can download and install pycharm id on your system and guys you can create a new project and run it so guys if you like my video do hit on like button and if you have any query you can put in comment box or you can send me on instagram also but before that you have to follow me on instagram all my social media link is in description box you can join my telegram channel for free pdf and no and guys if you are watching my video first time please subscribe to my channel i create lots of video related to coding and installation thank you guys for watching this video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care guys keep learning keep watching